Hi guys, Jeanette here, and for a while I'm going to be talking about um, 10 things to do in the studio when you don't know what to do. One of these things is to go over older works that haven't worked out. I don't know if you're like me, but I struggle to get myself in here. I just do, and I think that maybe more people, more artists do the same thing. And I don't know why I struggle with it because this is where my joy is and so we're really cheating ourselves out of joy when we don't get in the studio and sometimes we use the excuse that we aren't motivated or we're not inspired but many times we have to inspire and motivate ourselves so um, one good way that I do that and to get myself out here is to grab a stack of my older work that just hasn't worked out and I have four pieces here and you know that's a good reason for us to not be afraid of ruining pieces or or having pieces that that aren't great you know we're doing pieces and then we think oh they're not so good or whatever just stick them to the side and later on there those are your jewels I mean those are the ones that are going to make you grow help you to grow in your art so I have four pieces here they just turned out kind of uh, meh you know they're not they don't have the wow factor they don't um, they don't do anything for me they're just kind of boring actually and it's these and I can tell you one of the main reasons that they did not work out or they have not worked out yet is because of pretty much first and foremost the lights and the darks and then the baby mama papa and if you followed me for a while you know that I like to simplify and that also the baby mama papa is really important because like in these pieces um, the baby mama papa is the varying sizes of shapes and sizes of the values and for these it's almost there is no variation there's a lot of the same sizes of shapes that you see and the values are not you know um, bold enough for me so same size shapes, values the same, 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 it kind of kill, it's really not, it kind of kills the painting. So today, just for today, I want to, um, just for the sake of simplifying, and just to get you out in your studios, because once you do one small thing, you will begin to get into the groove of your art making. It will happen and you'll start getting ideas for maybe another painting or um, uh, different colors or d to work more on these. Today we're just I'm just going to put white in it and show you what an impact that that's going to make just doing that one thing. So to simplify, that's what I think is great is to get yourself out in the studio using one of the 10 tips that I have that I will be um, having a link to in the in the bottom of the notes um, to just get motivated to just get yourself out there uh, many times we just put too much pressure on ourselves to make a painting or to do something great or to finish something really this is a step-by-step -step type of life Simplify your life. Simplify your art. Okay, let's get going. I'm going to get my white. Get a paper towel. And for my white, you guys, I just use a student grade gesso. It's Artist Loft. Student grade gesso. That's what I use for my white. Okay, and then I'm gonna. I thought it would be fun to maybe use this as a stencil to paint around. 
like for instance, to make a sharp line. So I'm going to put white on each of these in places where I think it might make a greater impact. And maybe I'll repeat this curve. That is super fun. Now that makes me want to go up in through here. Okay, I'm on a roll with this spatula now. Now I want to do everything with this spatula. <laughs> um, I don't know, you can't do too much, you know. That's what we want to do. We get on a roll and then we want to do make everything like that. Let's go up here and see what this will do. Um, I'm going to leave it because I see, I see the baby mama papa in my negative shapes. Baby, mama, papa. So I'm going to leave that dry. So what I'm, what I'm doing, if you don't already know, is I'm creating light lights. I'm going to go in maybe later and do some dark darks and then do some medium after that. But because these are so sleepy, for me, I have to go in and kind of make something happen, which is what I'm doing with the whites. Don't be afraid to go over and over and over your paintings. I think that's where the interest lies.
Well, I'm having fun with this, so that's the main thing. Right? We don't know where it's going to end. We don't know what is going to happen after. But I do know that I'm creating um, a foundation that's going to hold up. It's going to have, it's, it's a design foundation is what it is. It's the underneath, okay? The value, the underlying um, design pattern that is what I'm trying to create here, and I'm having fun doing it. And then I can go in later. So that's kind of the basis of, of your uh, composition and your design, is the underlying design pattern, the lights and the darks. So I, as I'm doing this, I am getting ideas. I'm getting ideas for my next steps in these, um, in these four paintings. It's coming to me. And it has a lot to do with the design of these curves. And then making more curves on top of, of this. But I'm not quite sure what colors I'll go in. To. I, I don't know exactly, but... My intuition is coming out as I do things. And that's the beauty of getting into your studio, is that you will begin to uh, cultivate. Your creativity will begin to come through for you. Okay, this is our last one. And um, I'm going to just go freeform here. Freeform it. How fun is that?
Okay, that is it for this video. Um, yeah, so watch for your baby mama papa. Watch for your baby mama papa, not only in the negative spaces, but in, um, like in the whites. These are almost the same. So that they should, it should be baby mama papa. This could have been a little bit bigger maybe. Actually, this is what I'll do. Just make that a little bit bigger. Yeah, watch for your baby mama papa. Like, for instance, this one. Baby, mama, papa. Small, medium, large. I'm going to make this a little bit larger. So that I have it there. baby, mama, papa. Okay, guys, um, if you've enjoyed this video, please comment, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. That helps me to keep my work showing in the algorithms.